If you've ever tried to recreate the iconic lift from Dirty Dancing, you're not alone. Countless kids have collected bruises in pursuit of perfecting that classic moment between Baby and Johnny. However, considering the societal changes that have occurred since the film's debut in 1987, watching it today sheds some new light on the classic. Nobody puts Baby in a corner. Here are some things you only notice about Dirty Dancing as an adult. Familiar faces. You might not remember Stan, the resort MC, but you'd probably recognize him now. Oh my God, it's Cleopatra. I feel like such an ass. From Jurassic Park baddie to Jerry Seinfeld's arch nemesis, Wayne Knight made a name for himself in the 90s, but he was still relatively unknown when he snagged this bit part in Dirty Dancing. You know, I finally met a girl exactly like my mother. Dresses like her, acts like her, so I brought her home. My father doesn't like her. <laughs> Watching the film now, you almost expect Johnny to address Stan with a disgusted, Hello, Newman. And speaking of nostalgia, you might also recognize Baby's mother, Marjorie Houseman. She's much younger in Dirty Dancing, but actress Kelly Bishop has since brought to life another iconic matriarch, Emily Gilmore from Gilmore Girls. Baby, stand up straight. It makes sense that Bishop would be typecast as rich and privileged characters since she does it so well. Hungry Eyes when the Houseman family arrives at Kellerman's resort, they're approached by owner Max Kellerman and Billy, who presumably comes for their baggage. However, Billy can't seem to drag his eyes away from Lisa, Baby's sister. His face is so awkward that it makes you wonder if there wasn't something going on between the actors. However, Billy had more going for him than just a creepy look. While he may have been overshadowed by Patrick Swayze's Johnny, Billy was handsome, sweet, and had great chemistry with Baby. He took Baby seriously and never treated her like, well, a baby. Johnny may have the benefit of being played by Swayze, but he's dismissive and rude to Baby for a good half of the film. As you get older, you may find yourself appreciating a nice guy instead of a bad boy. However, meant to be. Just as Baby seems better suited to Billy, Johnny seems better suited to Penny, his dance partner and ex-girlfriend. Penny is everything that Baby is not, tall, mature, and most importantly, confident. As Baby starts to believe in herself, Johnny grows more attracted to her, but Penny has it all from day one. She's also fiercely protective of Johnny, while Johnny is tender and devoted to her. Billy assures Baby that Johnny and Penny are not together, but it's hard to believe when you see them on the dance floor. Swayze actually admitted in his memoir, The Time of My Life, that he felt strongly about Johnny and Penny, saying, I felt all along that Johnny should ultimately end up with Penny as they were so much alike in a more realistic couple than Johnny and Baby. Privilege When you think of a lakeside getaway, quaint images of rustic log cabins come to mind. That is, unless you're the Housemans. Dirty Dancing's Kellerman's Resort was not a real place, but it was inspired by the grand hotels of an area of the Catskills called the Borscht Belt. This was a popular vacation spot for wealthy Jewish families who wanted to escape from city life without losing their creature comforts of home. That is, until air travel became more accessible. Trips to Europe, that's what the kids want. The houseman's cabin is roughly the size of a moderate suburban house and isn't cheap either. You can stay at the Mountain Lake Lodge where the houseman stayed for $329 a night. While Dirty Dancing may have dropped the religious connotations, it maintained the divide between the vacationing families and Kellerman's employees, with integration being frowned upon. No funny business, no conversations, and keep your hands off! Johnny seems to be the only exception, giving secret private dance lessons to some wealthy female guests. Kellerman explains, One of the bungalow bunnies. That's what we call the women who stay here all week long. The husbands only come up on weekends. As if the financial divide wasn't emphasized enough, Vivian, one of Johnny's cougars, shrugs off her fur stole mid-dance and tosses it on the floor. This sort of disdain for material items is like a slap in the face to everyone who can't afford to dress themselves in furs. Coupled with the fact that Vivian ends up getting Johnny fired later in the film, it's easy to sympathize with Kellerman staff who have to put up with their privileged clientele. Dangerous Dance after hours of frustrating rehearsals in Johnny's studio, Johnny decides that a change of scenery is in order. I'm doing all this to save your ass! What I really want to do is drop you on it! Well, let's get out of here. But instead of taking Baby somewhere easy to practice, like an open field, he takes her to the woods. Since Baby is still a beginner dancer, it makes perfect sense that Johnny would make her dance on a narrow log precariously balanced high above a ravine. Patrick Swayze knew better than anyone the perils of dancing on a log. The log balance dance aggravated a previous knee injury to the point where it almost derailed the iconic lift scene. Stick to the dance studio, kids! Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.